So colder weather brings drier air, which can cause chapped lips, itchy skin, even nosebleeds, and a humidifier, if you haven't used one in the past, it can actually help. And with so many choices out there, how do you even know which type is right for you? Leah Lynchide shares Consumer Reports exclusive humidifier ratings. Every year as colder weather hits, Alex Joyce breaks out several humidifiers. By having the humidifier in the bedroom, it would bring it to a more comfortable humidity in the room and I would wake up in the morning and not have dry sinuses and I would not have uh, dry lips. Consumer Reports just tested more than 30 humidifiers. There are three main types. Evaporative style, which draws air through a wet wick filter. Ultrasonic, which releases a fine mist into the air. And vaporizer types, which emits steam. Testers first measured moisture output. Winter comes, you put your heating system on, the air dries out. You want to know how much humidity you can put back into the room. Testers also look at features, noise levels, and how easy a humidifier is to clean. Consumer Reports tests found bacteria can grow in every type of humidifier, but some are better than others at keeping it out of the air. We found that the uh, evaporative types of humidifiers are less likely to put that bacteria back into the air. It may grow in the tank, but it's not going to come out. Consumer Reports says this well at Walgreens brand evaporative humidifier is a good choice for a medium-sized room and costs just $32. But keep in mind, evaporative humidifiers are noisier because of the fan. If you'd prefer a quieter humidifier, consider an ultrasonic. This CVS brand is top rated for a small room and costs just $30. Leah Lynchide, News 3 This Morning. So no matter which type of humidifier you choose, the safest approach is to empty, rinse, and dry it out every day if you can. And once per week, follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to disinfect that tank.